Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video. This is this talk, this rant is gonna be completely different from the previous rants that I did in the past because this is gonna talk outside of like what goes on in reality and the videos that are under controversy and involving people who are caught and exposed because those are the typical type of videos that I do and on this channel but I'm gonna talk about something different that's more into depth and there's di different differentiates from what I talk about so uh, moving forward for those who have friends and those that believe and have faith in their friends <clears throat> I honestly suggest you should not highly trust your friends you shouldn't highly rely on them because i know for a fact the only and i know for, i've used to have friends and i'm not going to really get into like personal detail and explain what goes on in my past <clears throat> but i can tell you from experience is that not everyone claims just because someone's friends with you does not cl claim to be uh do, does not mean they actually like you does not mean they claim to respect you because there are people that are out there willing to turn on you they're willing to like talk behind your back whether whatever is set you up get you in trouble and there's more it's more to it than meets the eye so what i'm trying to say is that sometimes someone only the only reason they want to be friends with you because you have something to offer they expect something in return they want you to manage, they want you to let them manage your life. They always feel like they're in control because it always starts off really nice. You, you, you know the person, you're, you're well known with them for, for like, for, for so long, whether it's been three or four months, it turns out really nice for you, maybe a year, but then you notice in the pattern that eventually they do change. It's a sign that now, because they're there, there's nobody around there's not many people in public they can they feel like now and they they feel like they're in deep control they can abuse you mentally they, and it's funny because they don't have this attitude with all these other people around them they only do this behind closed doors and it's so irritating because these are the, like I've, i mentioned narcissists before these are the kind of people that will definitely they will they will they, their entire personality they'll show their true colors their entire personality changes because they want to show you the, the the real version of themselves and they claim that they respect you that they're they're willing to look out for you i can but i can guarantee you this the only reason friends say that because they want they want they want to be complimented they want you to avoid being 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 like away from them they want they want you to they want you to keep you in sight they want to keep you in sight so that you can still hang out with them they can have someone that they can take advantage of they can brainwash you manipulate you and they make make you feel that you you, you without friends your life is has doesn't really have no has no meaning has no value but i can tell you this a lot of people have succeeded whether it's with or without friends you don't even need friends to accomplish your goals in life because for you, it's, it's for, for anything, it's just so people don't feel lonely. That's the main reason. So people take advantage of your loneliness. And it's important because we've heard several cases. You and we, this isn't really too much to explain, but I guarantee you, we have, we've heard several cases where people have been stabbed behind the back from the friends and they don't even expect it. They least expect it. And they actually end up either getting killed or they end up like um getting false charges they end up getting arrested for false charges for, for things that they've been accused of and that they especially by the friends who've been talking behind their gut back gossiping so so whenever the whether it's law enforcement whoever questions them they'll try to lie and they would prefer to set up on somebody else set you up since they know they need to defend themselves and they have no problem doing that towards their own friends. And I'll be honest, sometimes I'll bring up families. Sometimes it applies to families, but I do believe regardless, it is important that you defend your family because without them, you wouldn't be around. You wouldn't exist. Friends are not what make you exist. It's your family members. Take, take notes and realize what's important in life. 
But again, I guarantee you, some people are, you can accomplish a lot in life without having to rely on your friends. Those are, like, and they're, like, and I'm going to speak from the truth. I'm going to speak from the bottom of my heart because friends are the only reason people want friends so they don't feel lonely. But a lot of times they are a complete burden and they'll hold you back. Because, uh, let me create a scenario. If one of your friends was being, was kidnapped, because someone claims that they kidnapped your friend, or they took them hostage, whatever, and they and they expect you to show up, and then you want they want you to make a trade, and they use your friend as leverage, but then you find that later the friend was in on it, you you now you're gonna have second thoughts. You realize I should I'm, I should not always be there for my friends from now on, since that's what happened. Since my friend was willing to turn on me, they tried to play themselves as a victim. Claiming that they are being harmed, that someone abducted them, they took them as hostage, used them as leverage, and I came to make an exchange, only to find that I been that I was being betrayed by my close and lonely friend, by the, someone I knew for so, so long, even though I have lots of friends, whom I had to count on, whom I had to trust. No one, honestly. That's how. That's the, that's when their brain gets really warped, and there is now they're gonna have second thoughts. And that was best that if a friend asks for a favor from now on, don't listen to them. Don't do what they have. Don't do whatever. Don't tell. Don't do whatever they ask you to do. Just be yourself. Be independent. And sometimes, and unfortunately, there are people out there that will do that to you. But sometimes you gotta be sure that you have some mutual understanding with somebody that you know is really close. But then it becomes very difficult because you don't know what their true intentions are. But sometimes I believe that if you want to be friends with somebody, you have to know them for you have to know them for a very long time. But even if you've known them for a very long, very long time, it, it can still they can still try to they'll still be willing to turn. We don't know who the person is. We don't know if they if they are just simply doing it because you have something to offer. And then there is once they don't need you, they're gonna cut ties with you. But sometimes it's best that you cut ties with toxic people. The moment they start being toxic and it starts to escalate, then that's the time where you have to leave that person. I'm my own person. I don't I don't need you to make me who I am. I already know who I am. I can improve myself. I realize as 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 the only person I, I feel like I should trust my instincts. I could I can trust my gut. I can I don't, I'm gonna follow those who've oh who who made me exist, who brought me to the world. So it's best that I approach my family about this and how I can make better decisions in my life. Like I said, there are a lot like I said, there's several cases happen when in, involving friends because you people thought they had something in common, but only to realize that these people were only playing them just to turn on them. And just so that eventually, once they realize, once they gain their trust, that they have somebody that they can take advantage of. And that's why I feel you, you, you can't trust your friends, but sometimes do not heavily rely on them. Do not believe everything that they say. Don't try to agree with everything that they say. And it's also important that you move forward and try to think what's best for you and that you don't feel that. You are being used and that you have somebody, you should know somebody in your life that's willing to help you. And they can be able to provide to give you the advice that you need and able to make you become more of an upstanding citizen. And if you guys hope that way, what I mean, like, I want you to take this into consideration and be able to try to realize what's best for you. And see that not everyone is always going to be there for you and that in a, in a, in a quick and divide. They're quick to turn on you. They would be willing to turn on you because they feel that you're not benefiting, benefiting them. So you should try to benefit yourself by you guys realizing you have to leave that person. And just know that not everyone is going to be there for you. And that what's best is that you're always going to be there for yourself. And that your life has meaning. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check for more upcoming content in the future. Be sure to check the notifications. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.